Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPK. Today we will learn the initial setup of device enrollment in Microsoft Intune. So we will see some prerequisites in the Intune regarding licenses, how to add the group in mobile device management and once Intune is set up, you will be ready to set up your first device into Microsoft Intune. Configuring automatic enrollment is one of the most important features in Microsoft Intune. So once we enable mobile device management from our Intune portal and assign the required license and add that user into MDM scope, then after that we will be able to set up the first user on our Intune and that user will be able to log in with their email accounts into Microsoft Intune and that device will then be managed by Microsoft Intune Admin Center. So adding the device into Microsoft Intune, you have visibility to all the devices which are added to Microsoft Intune and you will be able to apply the policies you need. You can wipe the device, you can deploy configuration profiles, you can deploy softwares or anything that is required by your company. Then the device will be totally managed by company. You can log in into Intune, Microsoft Intune by going to intune.microsoft.com and you can check the device enrollment by going to devices. We are here to enable mobile device management for our new tenant. Suppose this is a new tenant and we are proceeding to set up this. Go to enrollment. In the enrollment, you have the option automatic enrollment. And let me show you how we can navigate to automatic enrollment by Azure, right? By logging into portal.azure.com and then go to Microsoft Intra ID. Once you are in Microsoft Intra ID, scroll a little down and you will see here Mobility MDM and WIP. You can also navigate to Mobile Device Management Scope from Azure as well as from Intune as I've, I've shown you earlier. So once we are in Device Enrollment status page, I, we can add either all of the users here or we can add some of the users here so basically what I will recommend that add some of the, the users here and select the group so that we can first test our Intune deployments and after that we can add remaining user into this group so let me find the group all company devices with E3. I want to add this group and I will add only test user in this group first because I, I, I want to test this uh, on a single user and after that once everything is verified you can move all your required users that needs to be in tune you can move them into this group. So we have added the group let's hit save. Okay update Microsoft Intune setting and this group is successfully added into mobile device management portal. So let's go to the product page uh, in the billing section. Let me show you that you must have Intune license, right? The license that comes with Intune and we have here enterprise plus enterprise mobility plus security. And this license has the subscription of Intune. So uh, let's create the user and uh, I will show you how that user could have the Intune license. So let's create test user. Okay. Test. Yeah, I want this automatically create a password and I don't want this user to reset password when they first sign in. 
because here I am just explaining you and I am showing you that enterprise mobility plus security e3 let's assign this license to this user and if you want to see the apps here this uh, license have these following apps right under this subscription and this license also have microsoft intune plan one uh, we will verify this from uh, azure portal as well let hit next and this this is the way of assigning Intune license to the user right hit next hit next yeah we have created the user let's finish adding once the user is created with the required license then we will add this user to the Intune group the group that is added here right so that this user will be in the scope of Intune mobile device management and once test user log in into any device right or register on any device he or she will be automatically in MDM scope and into this group so let me show you let's add uh, that user into uh, Intune group right so here manage group in the assigned membership we want this user to all company device with e3 group right because that group is in the scope of uh, mobile device management here in the intune portal okay we have added this user here and it may take up to an hour for distribution list and enable security group membership to display yeah, it will not take uh, an hour now let's move the intune portal all right and here uh, let's go to the groups i want to show you that user is the part of that mgm group and after that we will verify the license of the user and the intune option into that license so all company device with e3 this is the group here and let's see the members of the group here yeah we must have test user here and that is here already and let's see license option here let's try to find licenses in the licenses uh, let me refresh because we have assigned a license to this test user um, still not coming here as it was saying that it could take an hour to propagate uh, let me stop and start video again okay I just waited for a few minutes and then I am able to see the license enterprise mobility plus security e3 for our test user right so let's go into the license and see the license features here uh, you can see at microsoft engine plan one is on this license have other uh, features into it but here we only want to make sure in tune for device management and that's it once you're sure about the license you are sure about the MDM group here, right? MDM group user scope, and then you are able to onboard this user device at least at in tune, right? So these are the few steps to set up Microsoft in tune mobile device management for your user, and these were the initial step once you test it you're one of user that is working perfectly and device is joined to the intune then you can proceed with your other users adding to this mdm group and onboard their devices so if you need a little idea about how you can set up the user for a device uh, 
let's try to find here work or access work or school account you have to go here and you have to connect click on connect here once you will uh, click on connect here then here this will give us the option to enter the email but hold on don't enter your email here right just click join this device to microsoft intra it after this you can enter your email here right and the password and this will give the option to join your device to microsoft in june once device is joined you can log out from here and then you can log in back with the user's email the test user's email right here is the test user that is the part of test user was the part of mobile device management mdm group we have previously set up that that's it about today's simple and to the point tutorial so i hope you enjoyed it and you have learned something important here here is the group okay and keep watching keep sharing and keep commenting thanks for watching take care bye